DCU fans petitioned for Netflix to save the Snyderverse. Well, considering the history of hashtaggery with uh, Snyderverse fans, this really shouldn't come as a surprise, but how likely would something like this be? Well, let's take a look. So Screen Rant's uh, weighing in on this. See, Screen Rant. And um, so they list the, the deal. Uh, about the number of uh, hashed uh, numbers that it got on Twitter as of th their writing of this. I don't was this, but was uh, five hours ago from now. <laughs> uh, so, uh, so anyway, yeah, Cell Snyderverse to Netflix is currently trending on Twitter with over 12.9 thousand tweets at the time of writing. And uh, hashtag Cell Z's. ZSJL. I wonder what that can mean. To Netflix has over 18,000 tweets. Uh, so it joins the other hashtagery of Gunn and Zafrin out, Fire James Gunn and Peter Zafrin, and Boycott WB. Because <laughs> of all the upset, primarily of letting Henry Cavill go uh, after the uh, teasing him out there, saying he's back, and then, nah, not really. And <laughs> that's, that's rotten. And uh, that's going to hurt for quite a while. But this idea of uh, just, hey, just outsource it over to Netflix and collect the uh, license fee check, uh, which is something uh, Zasloff has already done with DC properties won't necessarily be exclusive to, to Warner Brothers or HBO Max. And uh, so, you know, the Sandman being an, uh, uh, an example of that. However, uh, there's uh, uh, some nastiness between the two entities as uh, Netflix is a little late on paying for the rights to Sandman to be on their <laughs> system. And Zaslav's not happy about that. He said, well, we'll pay you when we get to it. Yeah. Hmm. So that, that's a problem. But something this enormous seems highly unlikely uh, uh, to happen. The, the scenario for where it would uh, would require some super duper pooper scooper sugar daddy who can provide funding, uh, at, at least mostly in part, for the production of these films. And, uh, uh, and, and then, of course, what, what would Warner Brothers have to be paid for it? Considering the position they're in, it's not entirely unlikely as a deal. But, the, but then you got to measure, well, well, how much does this hurt what they're doing anyway, which is their own, you know, the new DCU. And all this stuff about, hey, they're going to keep Ezra. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's pretty silly. Uh, but uh, if the Flash movie is that good and uh, they can keep certain things under wraps, uh, they probably would keep him, you know? I, I, I don't know how they're going to uh, uh, finagle that, uh, but it's the, what do they actually have any metrics that tells them that'll be all right, that'll work out, they'll get over it. I, I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, so then what do you do with that? And then Momoa goes off to be Lobo. Do, you, did, do they say, okay, you can go be Aquaman over at Netflix? And all that stuff, and uh, just say, yeah, we got a multiverse, so you got uh, Netflix Justice League, then you got our Justice League, uh, that'll be in theaters, and uh, then, of course, there's uh, Reeves' Batman, so that's one, two, that's three Batman. He said there won't be four Batman, <laughs> so it would still count. <laughs> uh, yeah, but... What's the position of Wonder Because they were uh, cutting everything to save costs, uh, to... To cut down the massive debt they got and all of that, could a sugar daddy <laughs> who just happens to be a, uh, a Snyderverse fan come in and pull this off? Yeah, I guess that scenario could work. It's just you have to weigh the, the problems of having two competing entities like that. Um I mean, Snyder's already uh, working for Netflix. He did his really terrible Army of the Dead movie. It looked cool. I mean, he's got the technical skill down pat. Uh, they could have used that team on Obi-Wan, at least on how it looked. <laughs> There's a certain way you use that new technology of the volume, green screen, projection room, and all that. Uh, but uh, uh, Snyder seems to have figured it out pretty quick, um, whereas that team on Obi-Wan didn't. Um, 
Uh, and then there's his Rebel Moon uh, movie. Speaking of Star Wars, which is his 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 take on Star Wars, I guess. Uh, and hopefully that's good. I mean, if it's anything like Army of the Dead, is well, talk about Dead on Arrival because Army of the Dead is easily the worst film Zack Snyder's ever produced. I, God, that was terrible. Um, but uh, so, but the, the point being, <laughs> he's already in place uh, if they made a deal like that. And then there was this rumor that there was an actual meeting. Well, Deborah Snyder, Zack's wife, and she's a movie producer, uh, pitched an idea of this sort. Whether it involves Netflix, I assume it would, since the Snyder's already, uh, you know, uh, producing films for them. Uh, that this would something of this scenario would pan out uh, to where we'll continue and conclude uh, these films. So, at at best, I think it would just be the Justice League films and that narrative that his HBO Max Justice League, uh, you know, uh, set up. Uh, originally, there were supposed to be the solo films and everything like that. Uh, I don't think they would uh, agree to something like that. But if it was just these two films that he does, and then that's that. And then uh, off they go into the sunset. And uh, if they could uh, hurry up and <laughs> get this done <laughs> within the next two years. <laughs> and I put it on Netflix. And then, okay, there you go. Say goodbye to the DCEU, Snyderverse. And then Gunn re- releases his new Superman film. Oh, boy, that's uh, well, that's a lot of... That would be too much of a slap job if you ask me. Uh <laughs> Because, they, you know, they, I don't know if there's time for that because it, you end up with them competing with one another. And I don't know. And how do you gather that it would work out all right? It says, hey, they'll accept the multiverse and there's alternate versions. Um, and then, of course, the saturation factor, which is already present thanks to Marvel and everything. And then Marvel dumped a lot of really bad movies over the past uh, year or so uh, with the only... You know, exception being Spider-Man, and um, it, it it poisons the well. I mean, DC had opportunity after opportunity, and they've missed it. Probably going to miss it again, but you know, I still don't know exactly what Gunn's up to. Uh, but that business with Cavill is just—I mean—and and granted, it's not his fault. He didn't set that up. Other people did, but I, oh man, is that bad? Uh, so, and. The, I, I, that's the thing. If you can make an argument to Zaslov that this will work out, <laughs> and then you can immediately hand off to give the, the quiet the fans they get their their conclusion to Snyderverse at least, um, and you've got the sugar daddy <laughs> to pay for this, so that it's only profit for Warner Brothers one way or the other, because uh, Netflix has got to have the money to finance it. They've got to have the money to pay for the license from uh, Warner Brothers. Uh, and they're gonna, you're going to pay up front. <laughs> you know, that too. Because Netflix is in a lot of trouble now. That's another problem here. You know. Uh, so, yeah, but it's, it's highly unlikely just for a lot of factors like that alone. Uh, even if there was a will and a wish to do it. You know. But uh, well, that's going to have to be one massive sugar daddy <laughs> uh, to, to do that. Or several, maybe, you know, and uh, coax them into it. And with the hopes that it doesn't interfere with their new franchise going forward. Um, if at all, it probably wouldn't be the two films. It would just be one, one more Justice League film by Zack Snyder. If anything, that they might agree to. And even that might only be animated. You know. I mean, yeah, Gunn said they're actively in development on multiverse uh, shows, movies, whatever. I don't think he's specified, but I'm guessing like animated things, which they've already done anyway, but he would continue it under his watch. Um, and that might be something they would do where they'd invite uh, the original cast to be the voice actors for some animated, you know, sort of spinoff thing. Maybe that could happen. But this... Yeah, if there's a giant sugar daddy, uh, that that would be the only possibility. Otherwise, all very highly unlikely because of, again, 
a lot of factors that even if all parties like, yeah, that would be cool if we could do that, but uh, it's too much stuff that's going to take away from the other stuff we want to do for the next 10 years. So, I wish, you know, I wish we could get a good send-off at least for these guys, especially Fort Henry Cavill. But, um, at best, maybe may, may a cartoon at some point. Other than that, uh, probably unlikely.